moment about midlife crisis. In fact, that term really does no justice to the feeling of getting older and reaching your midlife, but uh, in fact a lot of people find that to be a very inaccurate description of what exactly happens as you get older. And I found uh, some interesting uh, information the other day about something called the happiness curve. And I wanted to share it with all of you because I think it's important. I think that all of us can benefit from being aware of this. The happiness curve, there was actually a book written called The Happiness Curve, uh, Jonathan something rather, but uh, the book was based on this graph or chart which shows the human life from youth until up until the 80s or later life. And what they found was a very interesting correlation between happiness and age. Now there are so many factors that play into why we are happy, what happiness is, the anxiety in our lives, whether or not we have enough food to eat, whether or not we, we have a good job, all these different things of course play into it hugely. The one thing that really got me was that they did these studies across the world in multiple different cultures and they even adjusted for uh, things like income and food or uh, you know situational rather and they found the same curve. Well furthermore they found the same curve with chimpanzees and apes which really somewhat eliminates, it's a lesser of a curve, but, and I'm going to explain this further, but the fact that it happens in animals that don't share our social construct, but that have their own societies, if you will, um, it leads some researchers to believe that it's something that just happens to us, that it's genetic, that it has to do with being human, or rather uh, life, rather than circumstance, okay? So, what is this curve? Apparently, when you're in your 20s, your happiness level gradually declines through your 30s until your 40s. And between the age 40 and 50 is considered rock bottom, if you will. This doesn't mean that everybody who's in their 40s is miserable. It means that in comparison to any individual's earlier life or later life, they're generally less happy during their 40s and 50s. I somewhat found this to be a relief, but also uh, I'm just going by, you know, the idea that I, I, what I've experienced in my life is that when, you know, and I, I'm, I'm making this video because of how many people have in their 30s or 20s or 30s have emailed me or written or messaged and said, you know, how do you, how do you cope with stress and, and, and uh, you seem, you know, so tolerant and outgoing and, and how do you, you know, not stress, if you will. And I let every single person know the same thing. My secret is, I do stress. Everybody does. Everybody has questions about their lives and wonders, have I made the right decisions? So, here's the interesting thing is after age 50, gradually, your the happiness level in most people anyway, this is not universal of course, but it's, uh, but it's been widely uh, documented among a lot of different people that what they call the golden years isn't just some uh, representation of just being old. It's not the olden years, it's the golden years for a reason. So as people go through their 60s and 70s, they gradually increase, assuming their health is still good, right? Because you have to assume a lot of people are going to die in the meantime. Some people will have debilitating diseases. Um, but overall, if your life tends to go a little bit haywire in your 40s, it's okay. And the idea is to make it through. Now, it's been defined as a midlife crisis because a lot of people go out, and especially, you know, a lot of, it's men and women. Uh, it's not just like a thing that happens to men. But men will go out and, you know, the old red sports car or, you know, buying themselves uh, a bunch of new toys or a boat or something like that. Uh, this is a way of us dealing with our, um, our, well, <laughs> when you get older, you start to realize, as you're young, when you're young, you want to master a trade. And as you get older, you start to think, uh, well, you know, I better get into something. I better, I better get good at something. And, uh, and then you become a master of that trade or 
whatever your job may be. And then you ask yourself, well, is this what I want to do? Or you may ask yourself, is this the right path for me? And then you start questioning yourself. And when you're in your 20s, it's not that big of a deal. You have plenty of time left. Well, beyond the natural factors to why these things happen to us, in other words, when we see, we see that the same, I know you can't really ask an ape or, a, you know, if, if a, a chimp or an ape is uh, happy or not, but from what they did, whatever studies they did, uh, they found that there was this, a slightly less of a curve. So uh, taking into account the length of a life of an ape or a chimp compared to humans, they seem to have a kind of a lull in their life. And then as they got older, as they took care of the community, because there's something different about us than other animals. Uh, in, in other animals, when, when the females are not, not reproducing anymore, when the females have become infertile, they basically die. And it's very rare to have an animal that half of your life is spent, or a portion of your life is spent infertile, not reproducing. And I think with, uh, with hominids and apes, um, the older generation, part of our genetic heritage, or our part of our, you know, whatever nature gave us, is that the older generations take care of the younger. That, that are the elderly are actually a huge part of the community. And this is something they're well aware of in, say, Japan. Uh, but like in America, we tend to just kind of dismiss the elderly, you know. Oh, another old person. Oh, they're crazy. Put them in an old folks' home. I know most people don't feel that way, but it just seems like that's the way people are treated as they get older. And you got to remember that, that these are the people who have not just years of experience, but years of knowledge, years of wisdom to share. And it's not always easy for, you know, them. But anyhow, the elderly that I've met, the ones that do seem happy. I've always thought, you know, I really hope that that's how I am when I'm that age. What I was going to say is the comparison, the reason why I think the human curve goes lower is because of the added stresses we have of career, family. Having children is a very stressful situation. I had, um, you know, uh, I've had my, my, my experience being a parent. I've wiped enough asses and woke up cr with, to crying babies in the middle of the night. When you're amidst that experience, you feel useful. You're tired, but you feel useful. And you say, well, I'm doing, my, I'm doing this thing in life right now, okay? So whatever may be happening with your career on the side or your job, you're a parent at that point. As your kids get older and they leave and they start doing their own things, this is when a lot of parents look at each other and actually there are uh, I guess a lot of divorces after kids leave home because the the parents maybe never loved each other maybe they were only sticking together for the kids being in an, um, a relationship can be uh, devastating if it's not one that's working if two people don't get along so all of us are unsure of the future and this breeds a lot of confusion especially when, when we get into our 40s. Now, I'm 42 right now, and I've been going through some shit in my life. It's been, on one hand, I feel like I'm, I'm doing some of the, the, you know, I'm at the best that I've been in my life on certain, certain things, you know? Um, and then in other things, I think, how can I just make the day-to-day -day mundane activities that lead, lead me through life, how can I make those exciting and valuable and, and worthy? So I'm going to leave you with this because I, I think that one of the most important things there's there's kind of a there's a thought that people who are intelligent tend to stress more or have more depression, but there's also uh, research to show that intelligence actually helps people to have a more a better well-being, um, and I think that if you can carry yourself well in this world, then then that's a very useful thing. But emotional intelligence is far overlooked. This is being aware of your own emotions and reactions to things. One of the things is to not compare ourselves to everyone else around us. There are so many people who are doing other things. Whatever line of business you're in, there's always somebody who's doing better or making more or, you know, higher quality or uh, who has more resources than you. It, it doesn't matter. What matters is we look and compare our lives to our own lives. Always trying to better our own lives as, as good as we can to better those around us and to not be swayed by the BS. What really matters and what did the, the elderly seem to say is their thing? No regrets. You get to a point where you have no regrets anymore. Also, when you become a certain age, 
you realize n that it, you don't have to have ambition anymore. Your ambition is not to, uh, you know, start a business or, you know, but, but one of the most amazing things is what they call second, some people call it second childhood, but there's also something called like second career or second adulthood. And this is where people who are between 65 and 75 have wrote books, amazing papers and become, I mean, we've all seen, you know, people winning Nobel prizes. They're not little kids. <laughs> They're people who have been through some shit, who have focused their energy on something and it takes a long time. But when you reach that point, you're, um, you know, you're, you're hopefully calm, collected, humble, and able to, you know, not feel like you're trying to get one over on other people. In other words, you're there for the truth for everyone. And uh, my last correlation or my last note I'd like to make is that I think that a large part of why this curve exists, however vague it may be, is because <clears throat> when you're young, friends are everything. Friends and family are everything. As you get older and you start your career, then you're moving and shifting your energy away from playing and hanging out to uh, trying to be something. And as you grow into your 30s and 40s, you start to, you know, you don't talk to your friends as often, you may have a family, but you're still trying to work, you know, working for the weekend, if you will. And that's a huge problem. If you don't love what you do, it's going to be painful. And even if we may not love what we do when we start, we have to learn to love it, find the reasons to love what we do. But um, <clears throat> when you have retired and given up on your career and you're ready to just live the rest of your life in what you call the golden years, this is when many elderly tend to go uh, switch, switch modes and, and focus their energy on community, on their friends, on their family. They go out to lunch every day with somebody. They, you, you know, everybody knows the elderly are very busy not all, but, uh, and I don't even like using the word elderly, I like to say the, the golden people, you know, golden folks, they, they know what life is all about because they've lived it. They remember being a child and how great it was to have friends. They also remember what it's like to be an adult and trying to work towards some end. And they can compare the two and say, what really matters to me in life? And it's all about the connections. It's all about the connections, the love, the understanding that we have between each other. That said, you can't spend your whole life just hugging people and loving everyone. I mean, this is, you know, metaphorically, you have to work. So, whatever your work may be, I wish you well on it. I hope that all of you out there who are in my age group uh, can find a little reprieve from knowing that it will get better. And for those who are younger, I hate to tell you that it's going to get worse, or it could get worse, but that overall it gets better. And, um, and I'd love to hear the opinions and uh, comments from anybody out there who is in your golden years. I know I have only a few subscribers that are, that are up there, but, you know, um, the, the comments that I get from and, and, and discussions I have with people who are, you know, over 70, uh, even over 60, are just like, they get it. You know, there's a reason why old men have their silly little jokes. They know they're silly. You know, it, it's not about trying to impress anyone or you know, prove anything. It's just about saying, this is, you know, I want to meet people, interact with life. And you can do that without feeling like you're, because you can't just do that when you're 40. You, you have responsibilities, you have a life to live, you got to pay your mortgage, whatever it might be. And I know this is very subjective. Each individual has their own responsibilities. But I believe that a life of working towards something, it takes time. I am so confused in my years right now, knowing what I want to do. You know, one day I want to continue my herb business, and then the next day I'm like, no, what I really want to do is write. And then I write out a paper, and I say, I'm going to make a video and edit all this, and then I don't end up making it. And I think, how do I focus my desires with my interests, with my energy, and make it happen? And I just realize it takes time. I'm still sorting through thoughts in my head. I'm still figuring out what I even want to do with the years I have left. So, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Please leave a comment. I love hearing your comments about things like this. And uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks to my subscribers. Thanks to my Patreon patrons. Thanks to my friends and family who have made life worth living. Because without them, without you, then I don't know what I would do. I mean, who does, right? I know a lot of people say they'd prefer to be alone, but yeah, not me. 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Take care, everybody. Remember that that U-shaped curve is a smiley face. <laughs>